In This Week in Military History, we explore the beginning of Operation Desert Storm, the coalition campaign to remove Saddam Hussein from Kuwait, later to become known as the Gulf War, or the First Gulf War. Iraq had a long-standing dispute with Kuwait over allegations of the draining of crude oil from their shared border. On the 2nd of August 1991, Saddam Hussein ordered troops to cross that border to invade and occupy Kuwait. The resulting international outcry saw Iraq's actions condemned and a UN Security Council resolution instructing Iraq to withdraw and authorizing the use of force should Iraq not comply. The US put together an international coalition of some 34 countries, including many Arab nations, to protect Saudi Arabia in what was known as Operation Desert Shield, all the while planning a major ground invasion to push Iraqi forces out of Kuwait. In the interim, the Iraqis endeavored to split that coalition by firing Scud missiles at Israel, hoping to prompt an Israeli retaliation, thereby angering the Arab members of the coalition. When Iraq refused to relinquish their occupation of Kuwait, the Allied effort to expel Iraqi forces, Operation Desert Storm, began on 16th of January 1991. Over the course of some 42 days, the coalition quickly destroyed the Iraqi Air Force, removing it from playing any part in the war, and destroyed command and control facilities and logistical bases, paving the way for success in the ensuing ground war itself. That ground war would last for little more than 100 hours and was brutal and efficient as technically superior coalition forces successfully pushed Iraq out of Kuwait. A ceasefire was agreed on February 28, 1991. The swift resolution to the war, however, merely fanned the flames of conflict and led eventually to the September the 11th attacks in the US and the second Gulf War in 2003. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.